Quick question. What is the most important step of curing a disease? Finding a cure? No. Finding the right disease at the right time, or what we call diagnosis, is the most important step of curing a disease. Scientists have now started considering DNA as an important material for disease diagnosis. What is DNA, if you may ask? Uh, a researcher would say DNA is a genetic material cell, but I know, and everyone in research knows really well, DNA is a love story. DNA diagnostics is a love story. You see, before there was Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal, Romeo and Juliet, Adam and Eve, there was adenine for tyrosine and guanine for cytosine. That, in, in humans, there's one cupid arrow which strikes and makes people in love. In adenine and, uh, and thymine, there are two cupid arrows. And in cytosine and thymine, there are three, which makes them for, made for, literally made for each other. When they form such complex structures, it forms a DNA, which has two strands, one strand which has uh, the, the, and the other strand which is really complementary. Uh, and this is how we use it. In fact, in humans, there are 3.2 billion of such uh, units. Uh, and uh, considering the amount of sequence, this sequence, which is this long, there's 0.0002% chance that this sequence will be joining the human genome. But there's 100% chance that its complementary strand will be joining to it. That makes it super specific. Then uh, when we attach this and consider it in the diagnostics, we attach a small signal to the complementary strand so as to detect special sequences which can tell us about is the disease actually present. We call these sequences as probes. Now, these probes are really powerful and they are, have a huge responsibility in them. They empower doctors and clinicians to tell the diseases even before they can occur. They can tell me, Krishna, you should not have peanuts, you might have allergies. Or oh, Krishna, you will probably have diabetes after 5 or 10 years, or you might have cancer after 20 years. They're amazing, they're powerful, they're specific, they're cheap, and they're simple. In, this, in, in the, our lab, we not just do not step, uh, stop over here. We develop cheap alternatives to either prepare the samples for patients or to actually find a disease. It's a unique blend of polymer chemistry, DNA nanotechnology, and molecular biology. I work on a polymer which gets drunk in a general sense, but technically, it's a methanol response as part polymer. So if I add methanol in this polymer, it actually shrinks down and creates a pellet. In general sense, when I add methanol and make it get drunk, it rolls on the floor laughing. I know this polymer really well, and so I attach probes to it. So when it rolls down the floor laughing, doing a nanoruffle, it actually pulls down those sequences, and those probes are able to actually capture and tell in case the disease is present or not. We understand and use understanding of a love story to make sure that you spend more amount of time with the people whom you love. Are we going to get a Nobel Prize for it? We are not sure. But are we going to make a difference based on that? Totally yes, and that's what matters the most. Thank you.